Hello, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to share this piece that I did. And I'm, I mean, not that I'm in love with it or anything, but the technique is so fun. Um, this was a class on Lifebook, The Simple Things with Angela Kennedy. And she was teaching us how to use a water-soluble pencil, and in, in particular, this Stabilo Marks All pencil, which I happen to have. And I first saw these um, when I did the journal soup class that I took with Kate Crane. And these mark on everything. It says marks all, paper, glass, plastic, metal. So they're great for mixed media because you can mark on top of um, all the mediums. The only problem is they dilute with water. They're water soluble. So you have to make sure you either do it last before you add any other wet media or um, you know you just know what you're what you're dealing with. Um, so she just sketched out this little girl and this is basically her design um, and I just had so much fun. She's not perfect. Uh, she actually used chalks to, to color in her um, flowers. They were chalk pencils. They were so cool um, but I don't have them so I just used um, I actually used my these guys which I don't know much about either. The Craypaws oil pastels. So I think there are chalk pastels and oil pastels, but anyway, I had these, tried that, whatever, whatever. Um, I think I used, I took one of those and just rubbed a cotton ball, um, a Q-tip, and did her cheeks with that. But I mean, it is what it is. I had to do it again, of course. So I have my, this is the um, Strathmore 140 pound 400 series watercolor journal. So I did her again. Oh, my tummy's growling. And, um, but I'm so into this. I'm, I can't even stop to eat. <laughs> but I did one again. And um, basically the same design. But I hated that I didn't make her shoulders wide enough on the other one and stuff like that. Um, this time I colored the flowers with my ink tense pencils. And those are water soluble pencils. And I tried to do it two tone and stuff because she was doing hers two tone. So I really followed along with what she was doing. Um, and I like her. She turned out cool. I should put the date on here. And then I wanted to try the technique with just doing a normal design. Like this is my, you know, enchanted forest that I've been putting everywhere. And oh, I put the date on that one. And again, I used the intense pencils um, to color the flowers and the hearts. And I just wanted to see what it looked like. It's kind of like a tattoo, right? And I happen to have color tattoos. Um, but a lot of people go with the black and gray. And so that's the feeling I was getting from this. It's this black and gray. And I don't know that the camera is really letting you see what... Let me go back to her. Because I think this is really the coolest when you do a face. And what I've been doing is ATCs. I'm going to show you that in a second. So then, of course, I started playing some more um, on this piece of scrap. So I wanted to compare the pencils as well. I have a couple different water soluble pencils and um, wanted to see the differences and I cut this out because I ended up making this face which I really liked although she's not in proportion her eyes are way high but anyway I just liked her and then all of a sudden I so I cut this out of here say um, but this is uh, my Derwent Aquilorel, I guess it's called, right? It's this dark wash pencil. Remember the ones I told you that have the, the little paintbrush symbol? They're water soluble. And it's kind of cool because it's more of a gray look than a black look. I mean, the Stabilo, you can tell, the Stabilo is black. It's so black. Oh, my tummy. <laughs> my stomach's growling. Um, and then, of course, I had to play with the ink tent. So the green that you see, that's just a watercolor um, pencil. Um, what else did I do? Then on the back, I was just comparing um, the different, again, this is the Stabilo, this is the wash, the Derwent wash, and then this is just a black ink tense pencil. So you don't need the Stabilo. Actually, the black ink tense pencil was the most, the darkest compared to the Stabilo, but nothing is as dark as the Stabilo. The Stabilo is just gorge. And then I did, I was just playing around with the technique with colored pencils. But what I want to get to is this, these little ATCs. So, of course, I, I cut her out because I just liked the way she turned out. I really liked her eyes. 
I don't know, she just has this spooky look about her, and I just thought it was cool. So then I cut out some ATCs, and then I did this one, and she's not great. I put the little, oh, the philtrum under her nose, and the way you do the noses is so different from how I've been doing them with the sketch noses, with the painted noses. So watercolor is a whole different thing, and um, I just, but anyway, I just did her. She's the last one I did, and she's my favorite. So I'm going to show you this technique on a little ATC, and I'm just going to sketch along with you, and hopefully she'll turn out as cute as that. Now, her lips kind of look like a mustache, so I'm not sure that I love... I'm going to just make them a little thicker up here, I think. Blend it out a little. Oh my gosh, my stomach is going crazy. And you can just blot like that and take it off. So that actually helped a little, kind of calm down her lips. But the eyes just really got me. Um, so I have this little ATC. I'm going to sketch out a little face. And look, I'm no professional. I just am winging it here. But I'm not going to do it at the top because I don't these lines don't come off as well like you can kind of scrub them out but you can't always so I've kind of been just starting halfway down and trying to make a little chin an oval shape basically and go up and so the top of the head I'm gonna make a neck I could have made her um, chin a little pointier but anyway, like I said, I'm not a professional. Let me wing her hair the other way and this time and totally change it up. <laughs> Make it crazy. Um, come around like this with her hair and like this. And then just come around and finish it out. I am not good at hair, so this is what this one looks like. Every single one I do is so different. It's crazy. So let's just go down like that. I didn't like that. So now... Figured this is about the top of her head. You want to go halfway down for your eyes. And I don't want to put the grid on there, like I said, because it doesn't come off. I'm basically just going to find the center point and make two lines about halfway from the center each way. And then I'll make another line, a little dot, because that's where my eyes are going to go. And then I'm just going to go, I don't, like on this one, her eyes were super tall. Like, I went really high with these eyes. This is kind of medium, and this is kind of just more straight eyes. And I think I like the straight eyes, but, I mean, you can do whatever you want. So then halfway from there to there is the nose. And it's the way um, Angela did it. She did this little triangle, like a circle, right? And then this is the... Oops. I should probably sharpen this. Her pencil was really, really sharp too. But anyway, she looked not looking good so far and it's way up high. <laughs> so, uh, of course, when I demo it, it's not going to come out the way I want to. And then really, you just make the top lip and a little bottom lip area. So she looks funny right now because she has no eyes. So let's put her eyes. I kind of want to make them tall, but not really. So I'm going to go like this. And every girl I make is different. That's what I'm loving right now because I, I like that I'm creating new people every time. Then the eyeball, you just make kind of like a half circle or you make it so that the top is not round. It just meets at the top. And when you do the pupil, you kind of just make a wiggle line and leave, leave white space for the highlight. So you don't want to fill in the whole, oops, I kind of messed that one up. Now we don't know what's going to happen once I put the, the water to it. Then there's a little eyelid. Hey Matt, I'm making a video. So this one's way wider. And then her eyebrow. And we'll see what she looks like because her nose is huge right now. I'm going to just put a little more color there. And I like her lips. They're, they're very smiley. And then when we add the water, we'll see what happens. And you can always blot um, the color off. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get um, a little shading on her, on her face. So I'm gonna, I just wet my brush. And you touch the line 
on the inside of her face. So I'm just touching the line and pulling some color down and I'm going to just push it out of the way, like kind of blend it in. Here, of course, it got dark, but that's okay because it would be darker there. And then, I mean, you can re-wet your brush, but I'm such a heavy hand. I don't want to just um, have too much water on my brush, so I'm just working with this and seeing what happens. So see, look, already she looks shaded. I'm going to go under her neck, on her chin neck under her chin on the underneath part so it gets shaded under here and I'll go down the left side and kind of blend it out and then on this side I'm going to go on the outside of her face to darken this piece because this is where it would be darkest her hair would be dark next to her body oh my stomach is growling sorry going to go up and t just touching the line and it dissolves. Listen, I'm not um, proficient, should I say. Um, I think I'm going to leave that. Let's go up against here and see how the, the pencil just melts into the water. That's kind of what I want it to do and I want this to be dark so I'm letting that all Dark. because that's up against like I really want this to be darker too I could just you can put a line in later all right and I'm gonna go down here isn't this cool and it's so simple all you need is a water brush for water and a pencil okay so that looks pretty good I'm going to do the face I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush just because I don't want too much water and I want more control. Let's just go over the lines of her eye, like right on it. I'm not trying to drag the color anywhere. I'm just trying to darken it and I'm, I'm blotting that because I have a lot. I don't know why Kiwi, you know what, I'm going to blot. But see when you blot it, you can pick it up. Oops, that doesn't look too bad actually. Now let's go, I'm going to do down her, um, so I'll go over her eyebrow, right? But then I'm going to take that color and kind of drag it down to the nose area. See that? And then you just kind of, I'll probably blot this because my nose has just turned out too dark all the time. And I'm not even really sure about the nose. Like, I made the nostrils way too, like, big. I don't know. I'm not sure about noses yet. I forgot this eyebrow and this line here and this uh, line here. But isn't that cool? I can add in dark lines in a minute. I'll show you. Let's finish the mouth. which can kind of look like a mustache. If you're not careful. So I am not a, I'm not perfect at this yet, okay? But look, it looks so cool. I'm going to go in a tiny bit more. Now I'm going to I'm going to attempt to fix this here and make it more distinct looking. See, oops, I kind of went down. My pencil's not sharp enough. And then I want this darker. And I kind of, I think I'm going to stop. And I like her way better, obviously. And the nose, I really have to practice the nose. I have to figure out the nose. I'm going to watch her video. Maybe I, I'm filling in too much, but still, she looks different, right? She just looks like a different person. They're all different people. And then the last thing, I just have this little chalk set that I forgot I had, but I just pulled this out. And I'm going to use the like this pink here, this like salmony pink. And I have these applicators that came with it. And I'm just rubbing it off, getting it really, really light. And just put a little bit 
And I think that's the sweet, like I could even put a little on her lip. <sighs> right? But look, all of them look different. I'll zoom back out. Look how cool. I just think it's super cool, you guys. She's my fave. You know, I mean, they're all different people, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I just want to make faces all day. This one's my favorite. She's so cute. And then you could probably add um, other colors too if you wanted to. You know, you could add a little bit of like, I don't have a small enough applicator to put some green on her eyes. Like, let me, let me try to just, you know what, you could just use a pencil, right? Or even a pen. I have this green right here. This is a, a I'm just going to add it because I just want to see if adding any more color is necessary. I think that looks great too. Like if you just wanted to give them a little bit of color. Wow. Alright you guys. That's it. I just wanted to make that quick video and share that new technique. Alright you guys. Thanks for watching.